good day, good night, good morning. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you, Father God, as humbly as I know how, seeking your face, thanking you for all the revelational knowledge that you have revealed to me in my dreams, Father God. I thank you for cleansing, purging. I thank you for releasing, Father God. I thank you for bringing me into a word uh, that I can share with your people that will help to free your people in this area as well. I thank you now. I ask that you speak through me, think through me. Father God, use my being so that I may be a light unto the world and shine for your people. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Good morning, good morning. So the Heavenly Father brought me, um, the Heavenly Father brought me to scripture um, after a dream that I had. Um, and the dream was, to make a long story short, it was about infidelities. It was about, um, it was like a scene, it was like a relationship type scene, you know, where someone cheats and then tries to return or the person cheated. They actually admitted that they cheated and they also kind of tried to become a little violent, um, because of my decision to leave, um, in the dream. Um, but they were truthful about everything, um, they confessed everything, but it was still my decision to leave. And I was getting ready to leave without really expressing myself. So this dream actually brought up many things um, that we as people can tend to harbor and not even know that we're still carrying at a cellular level. Now, you could have said, oh, you know, I've forgiven these people. You know, I've healed. It's been so long ago, you know, but. A lot of times when we're working out our salvation, the Bible says work out your salvation with fear and trembling. A lot of times when we're doing this, a lot of that happens through our dream state, okay? The Holy Spirit will help us to release things and bring and actually reveal things to us within our dream state so that we can release them. The word of the Lord is that God is getting ready to vindicate you, okay? God is getting ready to, look at that. Bring you back into love. Okay. Love is what that says. Okay. Bring you. It's, it's freeing you from all these things that have weighed you down. All these past traumas. All these inferior. Inferior. I can't even say it right now. But I'll say it in a minute. Um, Insecurities. Okay. Um, things that make you feel inferior. Okay, um, and he brought me the scripture. The scripture reading is Micah, actually, chapter 7. And he brought me to a little piece of scripture, which is uh, verse 6. And he brought me down to where it says, A man's enemies are the men of his household. This is what stuck out to me. A man's enemies are the men of his household. Okay, now what this means, this is, I'm going to take you a little bit deeper in revelational knowledge if I can. Now, this is not talking, this can be literally, okay, so the men, you you know, the people that you around could very well be your enemies. I'm not, I'm not disclosing or discarding the, um, discarding is the word, I'm not discarding the natural revelation of the text. But if you can allow me to give you what the Holy Spirit gave me, is that a man's enemies are the are the a man's enemies are the men of his own household. So this means that your enemies are the 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 the, the, the insecurities, okay, the inferiorities, okay, the um the suppression. Okay, of your emotions, the past traumas, the self sabotage, the all of these things are enemies to God. It places enmity between you and God because it keeps you out of the very truth of who you are in Christ. Okay, so that's what this scripture means that a man's enemies are the men of his own household, it's the things that we harbor inside of us that we have not really healed from the unforgiveness okay um the abuse 
you know, the betrayal, the rejection. We call these things out today and we release them from ourselves because this is what's, what's robbing us of the very freedom that God promised us. I don't know about you, but I want to be emotionally free. And I feel like you're not free until you are emotionally free, until you don't have any hate, until you don't have any any guile within yourself that you're harboring. Okay, and sometimes we don't even notice. Like we 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 say we're happy and and we say we love, but it's just mouth service. You're not really living this way from a heart and a mind level and perspective and this is where God is bringing us to this is how God is vindicating us he's restoring back all the years that was stolen from us through our very emotions because that's what the enemy uses through those hurts and those pains that we suffer all that trauma you know, and the Holy Spirit will do this for you. A lot of people have to seek counseling and have to, you know, do other things in order to heal. But the Holy Spirit can heal you from these very things. And a lot of the healing takes place in your dream life. It takes a uh, place in your dream state. Okay. And this dream was very freeing. And in the dream, I saw a yellow Mustang um, and I looked up the meaning of a Mustang and it talks about um, a lot of different things, talks about it. But the main things that stuck out to me is purity and eternal life. This is what God is, is doing. The Holy Spirit will purify you. The Holy Spirit is taking you through a purification and the only way that we can be purified and our soul is, is by working out our salvation with fear and trembling. But not only that, it's also dealing with the mind, the will, and the emotions. That's what makes up the soul. Okay, so the Holy Spirit will do this for you. Okay, this very dream state. I don't know about you, but if you've gone through a lot of things in which I have ever since I hit this earth, since, since you know, since I was a young girl. I went through trauma. I received a lot of trauma, a lot of abuse, a lot of narcissistic relationships, a lot of turmoil, a lot of strife, you know, a lot of abandonment issues, a lot of rejection, a lot of, you know, hate that I got from the world. Not a lot of love. Okay. Even though I got a lot of love, you know, the world tried to try to really uh, take my love away from me. And so today we take our love back. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take self-love back, okay? We take real, genuine self-love back. And the only way to have real, genuine love for others is to have one for yourself. The only way to really do Matthew 22, 37, love thy Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, is that you got to you gotta love yourself like that. You got to know what love is. You got to get to the core of you. Get to the core of where you say where it's no longer a lip service where you say you love, but you actually feel love. You actually have love. Glory be to God. You got to mean this thing at a cellular level. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That's what God says. Sincere love. He requires us to have a sincere love toward God. It got to be for real. You just can't say you love God. You got to really, 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 really love God. And the only way that you can really, 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 truly, truly love God is if you really, really, truly, truly know what love is. And if you really, really, truly, truly love yourself. God is vindicating us. <laughs> Freedom. Okay. He's freeing. Up. He, 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 he's removing that canker worm. And that poma worm. And, and, and all the things that the locusts ate up. He's giving you your joy back. 
He's giving you your love back. And, and your enemies are going to flee seven ways. Glory be to God. He's releasing you from the very enemies that has been lying dormant within your very own household. Within household is symbolic to your temple, to your heart, to your being, to, you know, all the things that your mind, your emotions, all the things that you have been housing on the inside of you that really... That ain't nobody really, really dug deep and really hit these areas within yourself. You know, that's what therapy does. That's what healing does. It gets to those root issues. It finds where the root is and it pulls it up by the root. So that you can release and be ye healed. Be ye set free and delivered. Okay. God is vindicating you. He's shining a light on all, on the darkness of your past. On the darkness, you know, that has been lying dormant within. Oh, no, I ain't got no darkness within. I done healed. That's all lip service. Because when you really heal, you ain't even, you're not even going to think like that. And you definitely not going to be saying things like that. You see what I'm saying? For real, for real. God is doing a for real, for real work in you. Not no play, play, not no fake, fake, not no lip service. A real surgery and removal of the things that so easily beset us that we don't even know. That we're walking around still carrying. So I pray right now, Father God, for your people. I pray that this message, this dream, this revelational knowledge, I pray that it heals somebody today. I pray that it sets the captive free on today. I pray that the truth makes them free. And that's the word of God. Your truth, Father God. Your understanding, the understanding of your word. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for shining a light on every enemy that has been eating away at our destiny and at our love. I speak love in the lives of your people, real love, real love. Real love. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.